What are the very first things you should do when preparing an ADAS calibration? We're going to find out next. This video is sponsored by LaunchTech USA. Solutions with the power to perform fast and accurate OEM level diagnostics and repair. Visit LaunchTechUSA.com to learn more. All ADAS calibration procedures should start with the same steps, no matter the make or the tools used for the calibration. Most manufacturers recommend the tires need to be inflated to the correct values. You need to make sure the chassis of the vehicle is aligned correctly. If you perform a calibration on any camera system and the vehicle pulls or the thrust angle is excessive, it can impact the performance of ADAS cameras. It is also critical that the steering angle sensor is calibrated before attempting any ADAS sensor calibration. The steering angle is a crucial piece of data for the safety system. If the sensor is calibrated before the ADAS calibration, it will need to be resolved to move to the next steps. Measuring the ride height is more critical than ever. If the front or rear is sagging, it changes the angle of the cameras and how they see the road ahead. Looking up the ride height measurement procedures and correcting it with new suspension parts can save you from having to remove bumper covers and headliners to mechanically adjust the camera. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.